On August 26, 2005, an elegant mother became the first lady of Burundi. Abarundi twese dutegerezwa kugira umutima wo gukunda igihe cyacu tugafata na munda kandi tugakora twivuye inyuma tutinubana. Denise Buchumi Nkurunziza is the spouse of His Excellency Pierre Nkurunziza, President of the Republic of Burundi. She is also the caring and loving mother of three boys and two girls. A few months after installation of the presidential palace, Her Excellency Denise Buchumi Nkurunziza has become an emblematic figure of development. Her time, her actions and her energy are not only devoted to her family, but also to the Burundian population. The way she is styled and presented is part of the rules of the game to accomplish her actions. The First Lady of Burundi celebrated her 48th birthday on December 1, 2017. Her Excellency Reverend Denise Buchumi Nkurunziza from Mumba Commune in Ngozi Province has got a very high nature. The First Lady of Burundi is a full member of Opetus an organization of the First Ladies of Africa Against AIDS. Together with this organization, Her Excellency Denise Buchumi Nkurunziza plays an engaged role. She relies on some topics to launch mobilization campaigns. These are, for instance, family planning, youth health, pregnancy control, early marriage, fighting obstetric fistula, value issues, and especially self-esteem. Wherever she goes, the First Lady of the country is very close to all the layers of the Burundian society. With women leaders, she talks about wisdom as an essential key for any woman who needs to well manage her family. She encourages women leaders to be good examples in family planning and missions that the country has entrusted to them. She targets the young ones simply because a country without youth has no good future at all. The common point she shares with young people is to tackle the early sexual challenges because she is the source of all the evils such as unwanted pregnancies, sexually transmitted diseases, obstetric fistula, and most importantly, AIDS. In order to make the nation youth more responsible and accountable, the First Lady of Burundi highlights the following visionary actions respecting their parents and using their strength and energy to develop their country. Other training and awareness campaigns were organized for the different administrative authorities mainly provincial governors and communal administrators in different parts of the country. Her Excellency Denise Buchumi Nkurunziza also organized a training and sensitization session for female military and police officers and wives of the military officers with the aim of awakening as far as fighting against AIDS is concerned. In 2018, Her Excellency Reverend Denise Buchumi Nkurunziza began a national campaign to educate the Muslim community and other religious actors on wisdom 
leadership and family planning. Chane chane, ashimikira, kuruhara gumu kenyezi, ahaherere yehose, hawa murugo, hawa mukibano, hawa mugihugu, kwa tegezo wakubi mboneza. Kwele kanda uruku undo afiti ya bandi. Nogu fasha bati ishoboye, nogu fasha nfuobzi. Ala natu kwele kingene kuhunga munga magara ya, ya, ya wabu murugo iwawe, kawu kenyezi, awu jejwe. Nikinu chingi la kamaro, kukunu buundi, ijo terambiru lishikira ruko, ukome yofisa magara kuyi. Hanyuma kandi, ala natu kwebu sayi uko, dukuye kumbenya yu uko, e, umu kenyezi wa sahereleye, ategeza guhara nila kugirango, mubge negi hugubgi iwe, aheza mbenye e, amateja kamugenga, kandi ayahara nile kugirango, agwanyi yuko mwurenganya. Umuvzi ya ilo ya mara angwa nugu tangi mhanuro. Hanyuma tanzi zo mhanuro, ijikuru nukwa lero wa ya shikiriji, ya hejeji, asige na wa ya zishikiriji. Izo nyigi isho, izo mhanuro. E, icho kinu lero, icho nabuo nye, chingi la kamaro, ni mugambi mwiza kutawigu mwiza 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 Ichu utegeza kuzura kwa kuzura biibuta, ura biibuta. Na wili chaji kwa mwundi kazi ya jikozi. In December 2005, the First Lady of Burundi, Her Excellency Reverend Denise Butumin Kurunziza, created a philanthropic organization. This organization has been legally registered under the name of Buntu Foundation. Its main fields of activity are highlighted as follows. To educate and assist orphans, widows and the poor. To contribute to the National Job Creation Program. To implement income generating projects and to increase production. As for the education of the underprivileged, Mireille is one of the orphans to have benefited from scholarship in India. She now holds a master's degree in business administration. En Inde, j'ai bénéficié comment faire des promotions de des marchandises parce que ici au Burundi, beaucoup de gens lorsqu'ils font euh, euh, le business, ils ne, ils ne savent pas comment faire le marketing, comment faire la promotion de leurs marchandises. Son excellence la première dame, Denise Nguyen-Zidza, nous la remercions beaucoup parce qu'elle nous a donné la chance et l'espoir de continuer nos études. Parce que si tu es orphelin, par exemple, comme moi, si tu n'as pas du papa, la maman, ton frère et soeur, c'est la misère. The Buntu Foundation has also supported the poor to afford medical treatment in India. Those who have come out of their precarious situations and now actors of their own lives and sustainable development of their families, communities and the country as whole. Sifa Noela is among the beneficiaries of financial support for medical treatment in India. She had a heart disease. The death of Sifa Noela is one of the most difficult experiences that the foundation went through. Since the Buntu Foundation had lost a loved one, it quickly took the decision to organize the funeral. Let's now go back to Ngozi to talk about an orphanage called Umusa Maria Wimbabazi, built on the hill of Buye. It is here that the First Lady 
marked the history of a mother with a big heart. With its elegance and charm, she is nicknamed Mama Bunu, meaning humanity mother. Indeed, she has given the best of herself to provide to orphans the most precious present, that is affection. Children raised within the Umsa Maria Wimbabazi orphanage have fully benefited from it. L'enfant doit être orphelin, de mère surtout. Actuellement, nous avons 40 enfants. Comme l'idée est venue de toute la famille, on utilise les ressources de nos champs. C'est ce qu'on s'est convenu avec toute la famille. On utilise les ressources de nos champs, mais ça ne suffit pas, ça ne suffit pas. Quelquefois, il y a des bienfaiteurs qui passent ici. Ils nous laissent quelque chose. Qui nous aide dans la bonne marche de l'orphelinat et pour payer le personnel. In the same province of Ngozi, a track leads to Buya Hill, where 198 students report to school every day. All these people participate to learn about hotel industry, tourism, food transformation technology, carpentry, and sewing. A secondary technical school. It is Bunu de Bouye, created by the first lady of the country. 90 students already hold diplomas delivered by the school indeed. L'école a commencé en 2012. Elle a commencé avec un effectif de 231 élèves. Les élèves sont orientés par le ministère. Ils doivent au moins avoir réussi à un test de sélection organisé en classe de 9e. Tout le monde a accès à un enseignement de métier, mais on se limite tout simplement à ceux qui ont échoué en 6e, en 7e, en 8e et en 9e, mais pourquoi pas même les classes supérieures. Ils ont accès à une demande, ils demandent, ils se présentent à la direction et puis euh, on les affecte sur les différents niveaux qui sont organisés à, 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 dans ces filières. Nukuvuga <laughs> To support the population in their initiatives, the first lady of the country has received radio equipment offered by the United Nations Population Fund, UNFPA, in Burundi. This station, under the name of Radio TV Buntu, has a need deterioration line supporting the initiatives of the deprived people. This initiative comes from the action of the first lady Burundese. C'est elle qui a eu toujours le souci euh, d'être à côté des femmes, à côté des veuves, à côté des orphelins. Donc, elle a vu que c'était vraiment important de pouvoir mettre en place une radio euh, qui puisse être au service de la communauté tout en consacrant euh, ses activités aux actions euh, de la population, notamment les veuves et les orphelins. Nous recevons des témoignages qui nous disent que des mentalités ont changé grâce au programme diffusé à travers cette radio. Nous avons déjà enregistré des personnes qui ont lancé des projets grâce euh, au programme de la radio qui a commencé ses émissions il y a seulement trois mois. Donc, Full of compassion, the First Lady also assists vulnerable people with a variety of aids, including food, clothes, toiletries, and others. She often visits hospitals to provide moral, material, and nutritional support to patients. The First Lady of Burundi has not forgotten the deficit areas of drinking water. Here we are in Musasa, one of the northern regions of the country, the neediest in terms of drinking water. It's from this observation that the Ubuntu Foundation has set up a broad program, allowing not only to intervene in the region of Musasa, but also in other regions with a drinking water deficit. 
through various sources made available by the Ubuntu Foundation, the infrastructures installed now allow 13,600 households to access drinking water. Kweli bido yashora kugwa maganane haini gihe abavomi bavoma ku mutwe bashwa no kuducha magana 5 nabagore bacho ikwabyuka ijo yagenda kuvoma ugasanga bagiye saa 10 bashike nka saa 3 gashayituma igisagara kidatera imbere uburyo bituma umuntu aro yambara impuzu zimesuye nta kibazo budufise Moreover the settlement for the elderly widowed and orphaned people called Buntu City is under construction. In these buildings, the First Lady of Burundi has planned a home of life, a nursing home, and a social educational home. Ordained as Reverend Pastor, Her Excellency Denise Ngurunziza has been a spiritual shepherd for over seven years. She always considers this work as a divine mission, apart from the activities that she carries out through the community of the Churches of the Rock. The First Lady of Burundi also organizes teaching, training and awareness campaigns for the leaders of churches and Christian organizations men, women, young people, the wives and children of pastors, the local authorities on various topics of the life of the individuals, families, and the country in general. It's for the sake of humanity that Denise Butumi Nkurunziza implements all these actions. She is touched by the importance of the diversity of the Burundian society. In short, it's human dignity that counts most for her.